thank you guys for watching my video welcome to my youtube channel and today i want to teach us how to design 2024 happy new year 2024 happy new year greeting cards so stay with me guys if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please kindly subscribe so let's get started so what's the first thing i want to do now the first thing i want to do right now is to click on my rectangle tools here can you see it that's f6 for the shortcut I'll click on my rectangle tools and draw out a rectangle and the next thing let me click on the text tools here and type out what we have which is 2024 happy new year so now i just type it out i'm going to use my control k to break it now i just did i just break it now as you can see the 2024 is separate and the happy new year is separate so i'm going to drag this one inside and change the font to geometric 415 geometric 415 before that let's change the rectangle color so i'm going to be using the deep yellow for it which is um yeah deep yellow can you see it deep yellow and i'm going to increase this number here i'm going to increase it a bit just stay with me guys and just see how i go about everything i'm doing so now i'm also going to change the happy new year font to this geometric and bring it inside and centralize it with the 2024 let me group it ctrl g then centralize the two together now can you see that's the first step now the second step here i'm going to duplicate what i have here i will use my ctrl d to duplicate it or you can copy and paste either ways that work for you and so i said i want we want to do a new year uh, greeting card flip over like 2023 is going out and we are coming to 2024 so what i'm going to do i'm going to delete the four in this one and after that i'm going to close up that part of four and stop here let me centralize this guy i'm going to close that part where we have four then and centralize this one here so I'm going to change this one to white because I'm changing the background also to black. So just stay with me guys and see how I go about it. So I'm going to change this yellow here to black. Can you see what we have? And after that I'm going to highlight it, group it together and go to my bitmap here. And I will convert it to bitmap. I click OK. Can you see? Convert to bitmap. So I just convert to bitmap now. So the next thing I'm going to do now, don't forget, you know we just duplicated, they are the same size. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to place it on this yellow one and make sure it's perfectly centralized on it. I align it well, can you see it? So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the black one here, go to my bitmap, I'm come down to 3D effect, can you see it, 3D effect. Then I'm going to come down to this place where I have uh, where I have page curve. Can you see page curve? Then I'm going to click on the page curve. Let me take it back because I've worked on it before. So the next thing I'm going to do now, look at the options we have. We have like um, one, two, three, four. These four here, I'm going to do it and preview so you see how it turns out. We have vertical, we have horizontal, we have opaque and we have transparent i'm going to explain how this thing works and over here we have colors and over here we have background so now let me click on this first one and click on so if i click on this first one the width here and the height here is used to control how you want it to be so i've clicked on this first one let me click on preview now 
it's not showing because i've not clicked on the height the height is what will shoot it out can you see now i just click on the height and it shoot out over here you can change the color to any color you want i can change it to blue i can change it to any color i want but because the color i'm working with on this design is deep yellow so i'm going to keep it to deep yellow this transparent here you can change it to transparent whereby you'll be seeing the text inside it like the 2022 you can see that it's reflecting inside but i don't want to use transparent what i'm using here is opaque i want it to be deep yellow i don't want transparent so i'm using my i'm using this opaque option i'm not using the transparent option because i don't want it to reflect so i'm using this one this opaque option and i'm going to increase my height so deep because i want it to come down so well so i'm going to increase the height and also the width so deep so it's going to cover so well can you see what we have now guys so I increase this one to 100%, the width 100%, the height 100%. Now, see what we have. But assuming I don't want it to be this shape, if I click on this one, can you see it? This four cost here, any angle you click on, that is what you will get. If I click on the down part here, it's gonna come downwards. If I click on this one, it's gonna come upward. But for this design, this is the concept I'm working with. So I'm gonna click on this one. And click on my OK. Now see what we have, guys. Indirectly, we are saying that 2023 is going out and it's wrapping up to 2024. It's so simple. If you have any questions to ask me, guys, don't hesitate to ask me. And you can also try this out and wish your loved ones happy new year. Welcome to 2024. So simple, guys. Try this. Let me know your feedback. Thank you for watching my video.